Every ice storm or hurricane preparation advisory comes with instructions to fill a bathtub. If you're on city water and a hurricane is coming, you run the risk of that water treatment plant being underwater and the water being out. And if you're on a well and the power goes out, chances are you don't have that generator hooked up to your well pump. So your stakes will be cold, but you won't be able to flush the toilet. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to flush the toilet when the water's out. So we followed the advice of the storm warning and we filled the bathtub. Now what do we do? Well, you'll get one flush and if there's no water coming into the tank, it just won't flush. So here's where the tub comes in. Most toilets and commodes will have a stamp as to gallons per flush. Now throughout the storm, keep a small bucket handy. This is where the gallons per flush comes in. This is only one gallon, but this toilet needs at least 1.6 gallons. So we use a five gallon bucket. You could use a two gallon pail if you have one handy. Simply scoop enough water with a bucket and pour it right into the bowl. But you'll need a big mouth on the decanter because you want to throw that volume all in one shot. Now you'll see the customary swoosh as the waste goes down the drain. Then keep adding a little bit of water to refill the trap. This keeps the gas and odors down. Now most tubs will hold about 20 to 30 gallons, so you'll get about 15 flushes out of it. So, like they say, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. Of course, once the water is resupplied, you're good, unless you think it's going to go out again. Then just fill the tub back up, back to its level. Now this is not potable water. This is not your cooking or teeth brushing water. That's what you have the gallon jugs for in the fridge. If you come to desperate situations and you need to use this water, make sure you boil it first. Stay safe. If this has been helpful, click the like and leave a note in the comments below.